In this video, we will be going over how to change the brushes on the Wave Vortex Rotator. When changing the brushes, you will want to work on a clean, flat surface. Additionally, you will need a small and large Phillips head screwdriver, which can be purchased as part of our Wave Vortex Accessories Kit. To skip ahead, click on the description below for timestamps. First, make sure the Wave Vortex is turned off. It's easier to work with the enclosure window lifted and the motor unit positioned at the top of the support rod. Next, unplug the motor cable by loosening the two thumb screws and pull the cable out of the motor unit. On the motor bracket, remove the two screws with the large Phillips head screwdriver. Once the two screws are removed, lift the motor unit off the support rod. Turn the motor unit upside down where it can sit on a flat surface. Next, remove the screws that connect the wires to the ring and disc brushes. Before removing them, take note of the crimp orientation. Both crimps should be in the same orientation when reassembling the Wave Vortex. Once the screws are removed, unscrew the two brushes with your fingers. At this point, the two brushes have been removed from the bearing assembly and are ready to be replaced with new brushes. You can also take this moment to clean the bearing assembly of any silver graphite dust that might have accumulated over time. Note: When replacing the brushes, remove and replace both brushes at the same time. The brushes should wear at the same rate, hence both should be replaced at the same time. Never replace only one brush. Next, install the brushes using your fingers. Note that the brush that is closest to the shaft connects to the blue contact wire, the ring electrode, and the brush closest to the motor housing connects to the red contact wire, the disc electrode. Wire the disc and ring contact wires to the brushes. Make sure the crimp is in the same orientation as it was at the beginning of this video, where the long side of the ring electrode crimp is perpendicular to the length of the shaft, otherwise it won't fit into the lift bracket. Turn the motor unit right side up and place the motor unit back on the lift bracket. Install the motor unit by threading the motor bracket onto the lift bracket. Reconnect the motor cable and tighten the two thumb screws with your fingers. Plug the wave vortex back in and turn it on. At this point, you have successfully replaced the brushes on the wave vortex rotator. If you have any questions, please contact Pine Research. I'll see you soon.